Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, Editor-in-Chief at TheServerSide.com, and I want to show you how the git merge abort command can get you out of a merge conflict. Now here's the situation that I am in. I've got this alpha file which has been edited both on the hotfix and on the master branch, and when I try and merge them together, I'm going to get a merge conflict. So let me show you that. Here I am over on my master branch. I'm going to say git branch a just to show you that I do have that hotfix branch. I might even do a git log one line graph all just to show you that yeah I've got this hotfix branch and I've also got this master branch here that I need to merge together. So I'm on the master. How do you do the merge? Well you just do git merge and then the name of the branch you want to mass merge in which is hotfix and as you can see Git is not having it. There is a merge conflict in alpha.html. You can even see over here it says you are merging and it's telling me that hey you can't go any further. So how do you get out of this? Well it's just a matter of going git merge double dash abort. Okay this is going to get you out of this git merge conflict situation. Okay I'm out of it. If I actually do a, a git log one line once again you notice that the uh, history of my git commits is exactly the same as it was just a moment ago. So nothing has changed. Now I just want to show you a couple of things. Now first of all there is git merge abort. If I was to try and run that again git merge hotfix and merge the hotfix in well of course I'd get the same merge conflict. Uh, you can achieve the same thing by going git reset dash dash hard. Okay, and you'll notice that it takes me back to commit 475 blah blah blah. Well, you notice that that's where the commit was over here, 475 blah blah blah. And even though it doesn't say it there, if I do a git ref log, you're going to notice that each time I did that abort and each time I did that git reset hard, you can see that it took me back to commit 475. See, and essentially even the git merge abort, it's just a git reset hard command and that's how it gets entered into the git log history. Now, you know, we're here talking about git merge conflicts. If you do have a git merge conflict, why don't you just resolve the merge or just resolve the conflict, okay? So I'm going to keep aborting the merge here, but deal with it, okay? If I go to the, here I am on the master branch, if I take a look at this file, alpha, you can see that it says goodbye world from master main and then if I come back here and I switch git switch to the hotfix branch come over here it's gonna say that files changed of course it has now it says hello world from the hotfix branch uh, so you know I've got different content in each branch here I'll go back to master git switch master come back here it's changed Right, because we've got different content in master and on the hotfix branch. Okay, well, why don't we just just merge it? Like, solve the problem, deal with it, deal with it now. Jordan Peterson would be proud of you. So here I'm going to just merge it. Okay, get merge hotfix into the master branch. Okay, it says yeah, there's a merge conflict, but I can deal with this. Okay, like I can I can deal with it. Now notice what happened to this file. You can't see it once I click on Notepad. You'll see the change you'll see that the git merge system has said, look, this is what's on master, which the head currently points to, goodbye world from master, here's what's on the hotfix branch, hello world from the hotfix branch, fix it. Okay, git can't do anything more. If two people have, have edited the same file, you know, in two different branches, git is not, there's no technology or algorithm, algorithm in the world that's gonna figure out how to merge those things together. Like, so you gotta do it manually and, and use human ingenuity. Um, so I don't know, how do you fix this? Well, I mean, hello world from master main, hello, goodbye world from, hello, goodbye, hello world from master and hotfix. I don't know, you just, you gotta fix it. And if you got Java code, you know, you're gonna have to compile it, you're gonna have to run your unit test. This is why you don't let two developers edit code on the same, edit the same piece of code, edit the same file on different branches, okay? It's a world of hurt. Okay, I've made this change, so I'm gonna save it now. Okay, so this file has now been saved. I can come over here. I'm going to close this window. Then I come over here. After doing that, I am going to do the git add. 
git commit dash m. Say we merge the files. And notice how it says merging there. After I do this commit and the files are merged, it's now no longer saying that I'm merging. And if I do that git log one line graph all, you can see that now that branch over here from the hotfix, the master branch has merged the content from that hotfix branch in with that new commit. And that's sort of what this little line is telling me there. And so there you go. And so that's the ins and outs of the git merge abort. The basic idea is if you have a merge conflict and you want to undo the situation and get out of the responsibility that you do have for uh, fixing a merge conflict, well, you can just do git merge abort. And it essentially does the same thing as git reset hard at that point in time. But you know what? Take responsibility for what's going on uh, and uh, see if you can merge those conflicts and get things working. Anyways, if you enjoyed that tutorial, uh, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com. we got lots of great tutorials on Git and GitHub and DevOps tools and enterprise software development in general over there. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And please, subscribe on the YouTube.